Hello, my name is Mr. Allison. I teach A-level PE at Nottingham High School. I teach the anatomy and physiology section and the social cultural sections. The contents of this A-level subject has been designed to allow students to study physical education in an academic setting, enabling the students to critically analyse and evaluate their physical performance and apply their experience of practical activity in developing their knowledge and understanding of the subject. The course will prepare the students for further study of PE or sports science courses as well as other related subject areas such as psychology, sociology, biology, business, physiotherapy, sports massage and many other courses. The examined components will provide the knowledge and understanding which underpin the development of the individual student. A-level physical education will equip the students with both a depth and breadth of knowledge understanding and skills relating to scientific, social, cultural and practical aspects of physical education. This requires the students to firstly develop theoretical knowledge and understanding of the factors that underpin physical activity and sport to use this knowledge to improve performance. To understand how physiological and psychological states affect performance. To understand the key social cultural factors that influence people's involvement in physical activity and sport. To understand the role of technology in physical activity and sport. And to refine their ability to perform effectively in physical activity and sport by developing their skills and techniques and selecting appropriate tactics. Developing their ability to analyse and evaluate to improve performance is also a key component and understanding the contribution which physical activity makes to health and fitness. Also to improve as an effective and independent learner and as a critical and reflective thinkers with curious and inquiring minds. Component one focuses on the physiological factors affecting performance and this is 30% of the total A-level and consists of three subtopics. Applied anatomy and physiology, which looks at the muscular and skeletal systems, the cardiovascular and respiratory systems, plus energy systems and environmental effects on the body. It includes exercise physiology, which looks at the diet, nutrition, training methods and injury prevention and treatments. Also biomechanics, which looks at the biomechanical principles of levers, Newton's laws, motion stability, fluid mechanics and projectile motion. Component two is the psychological factors affecting performance and this is 20% of the total A-level and consists of two subtopics. Skill acquisition which looks at classification of skills, types and methods of practice, movement skills, stages of learning and memory models. Also sports psychology which looks at group and team dynamics, goal setting in sport, confidence and self-efficiency, leadership in sport, stress management and goal setting. Component three, which is the social cultural issues in physical activity and sport. And this is 20% of the total A-level and consists of two other subtopics. Sport and society, which looks at the emergence and evolution of modern sport and global sporting events. Contemporary issues in physical activity and sport, which looks at ethics, deviance, commercialization, media, modern technology and routes to sporting excellence. The final component four is the performance in physical education and this is 30% of the total A level and is a non-examined component which is internally assessed and externally moderated. And the student is individually assessed in their chosen sport. Performance or coaching of an activity taken from the list of OCR approved sports. Students also complete an oral response to a live performance incorporating all of the theoretical components already listed. My name is Ben and I study English Language, Biology and PE. Yeah, so I like how it's really interactive, especially with the relationship we have with our teachers, so they make it really stimulating, which enables us to learn a lot better than, than some other subjects. Uh, for me, it was learning about motor units. Uh, we got to make our own models and really understand how the motor unit works as well as the labels that go along with it. 
for me, it was the detail it goes into and how well it analyzes some of the stuff you, that you do in your everyday life, especially as a sportsman. And I found that really fun to refer that back to what I do on obviously the field as well. Uh, so it's really good. We've got access to obviously the fitness suite and also the science block. So the stuff we learn in the science block, that's basically our, cl our classroom, we, we can apply here as well sometimes, especially with the testing and some of the practical elements of the subject. Um, so obviously we've got a nice pavilion um, and a lovely field that we've got obviously quite a few pitches as well. Um, so especially on Saturdays, got the whole school playing matches and it's really good atmosphere. Yeah, so last year, um, as year 12 and 13, we all went to St George's Park where the England national football team play and we got to look at like the rehabilitation process and also try some of the stuff that they do out, which was really, really enjoyable. Yeah, so we've got three teachers across the whole subject. Um, for me personally, I've only got two of the three teachers, but they cover different sides of the topic, so it's basically half and half, um, which is really good for us because their different styles also complement the, the topics they teach. Uh, so Mr. Allison is, is really great, he's really interactive, and then also Miss Wood, the, the other teacher that I have, is the same, really in depth with the stuff we have to learn. Yeah, so we recap uh, the stuff we've done in previous lessons, make sure we're all up to date and that we're obviously remembering the stuff we need to know. And then also we try and look at some new, new content and try and go in depth about that and make sure we know what we need to know for the subject. A lot of it's theory. Um, and then our practical side is obviously us performing, getting some footage of us performing. The sport that we play for me is cricket. And then we put that all together and that goes into obviously like the moderation. Um, so that combined gives us our total, total score. Yes, yeah, so we get a few pieces a week, um, depending on which teacher we have, because obviously it spreads across a fortnight. Uh, so we sometimes have a more on one side than the other, but we get, I'd say about five pieces most a week, but three is usually the, like the average, and it's good because it helps us to keep on top of what we're learning in lessons and making sure we're staying up to date with what we need to know. Uh, so I want to study business potentially at university, but uh, I want to do that alongside my sport, um, which is what I'm quite passionate about, and hopefully even go into sport in the future, maybe look at something to do with sport and business, which is quite interesting for me, especially because it's something I'm passionate about. Uh, it's really applicable to other subjects. So for me, I do biology and it's really heavily linked, especially with some of the stuff that I learned in GCSE physics as well. It's really helped me like obviously get a bit of a head start in some of the content we do in PE, which is really nice. So it means I don't have to um, like strain as much. And it gets me a better knowledge of what I need to know.